Okay. Hello. There. Okay. I am. That was my umbrella. This is my <laughs> okay. So hi guys. Um. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Something bad. Oh. Yeah, but you know what? Something just happened today, and then something happened yesterday, and now I forgot what happened yesterday. I'm still waiting on my license plate, and my registration for my car, because I've been without it for months. And, um... I can't sell the car or move or do anything without my, without all of my, you know, to make sure that I have everything for the car that I need. And, um, of course, the, uh, the person I bought the car from is a real piece of shit person. So, um, I have no rights now to my own registration and all that. I paid him in advance to get that for me done. I'm not sure if that's in all car dealerships, but it was part of the money that I paid for the car to uh, register my car. And uh, he, he keeps making the excuse that he has until December to get the registration done. And I'm like, you know what? It's been a lot of, it's been a long time already. Like you're gonna all you're gonna just do everyone's registration for their cars all at once. I don't think so. That's not how it works. So, and and even though I paid him the money to do it, him he, he gets a discount because he's a dealer. So he's not. So he's making money off of me. And um. And I'm still waiting for my fucking license plates, and uh, you know for me to drive drive with my license plates and my registration and in the title, and I'm I'm just. I, I don't feel like I own the car at all, and I paid it in full, but, you know, until I get that, and then, what, where am I gonna, I'm gonna go traveling with the car when I don't have it official, like, I don't do things like that, I don't like to do things half-assed, and, um, I just, <laughs> no, <sighs> I'm, I'm stressed out, and then, um, today, I tried paying my bill. Today is the first. It's rent day. I have money in the bank. And I'm trying to pay my rent through through an app, through the Zelle app that's connected to my bank account, which is fine and perfectly working all this time until today. And, um... I don't know what's going on. I thought maybe it was something wrong with the app. And I went online through a different device to see maybe it was my device that is fucking around. I think it's my phone. You know, because I've been having a lot of problems with important situations in, in regards to, um, you know, in regards to these poor, important inform, um, situations. I have to use my phone. And it seems like the common denominator is my phone and my also my laptop so on my laptop i try to sign in and transfer the money that way through the regular website without the app and it didn't work either and there's all of my um people on there that i send money to are gone in my list of people you know it was already set up and um and you just click on their name and all that and it sends the money to them, but it, they're all gone. So, <clears throat> I called my, my bank and the bank was like, <clears throat> I don't know, we could see all the names here. So, on their side of the, of their side of things, they could see all my contacts or whatever, the participants that I send money to it's it's intact on their screen yet on my screen there's nothing there and it looks erased like it's not there anymore and 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 then she was like i don't know what to tell you uh you're gonna have to call the zell uh company 
and asked them about it. Okay, fine. I call Zell, and then Zell tells me that uh, because I'm a, uh, uh, my account is connected to my bank account, that um, you have to directly, you know, dispute or whatever, any dispute or whatever technical difficulties you might have. You have to go through that with your bank. And I just finished talking to my bank about that. So, okay now. I'm not playing this phone tag game with you motherfucking people anymore. Like, I'm so tired of it. And uh, this is affecting me because I'm going to get a late fee now. Which is, again, not my fault. I have the money there. And even the bank confirmed it. Even the bank confirmed that I have all my um, uh, uh, participants in the, you know, I don't know what they call that, that they receive money. It's all listed there in their account, in my account. So, man, I can't see. So why am I not able to see it on my end is a fucking mystery. I don't know if it's my phone and my laptop because I've, I've had issues before with this and and, and I've also been hearing, um, like, computer sounds clicking into my phone conversations. <laughs> so, um, I'm pretty sure that my phone is tapped or whatever. It's been compromised somehow. And, and it's not only my phone, it's my laptop. So, I don't know what's going on here. It could be a hacker, like, within the place that I live because I don't trust none of those motherfuckers to begin with from the very get-go. I had a bad feeling about them. Um, it could be someone tapping into my Wi-Fi or whatever they do, these hackers. I don't have the mind to do that. It could have, because since I moved there, I've been having this issue. It could be that, or it could be my ex, one of my exes, or the other ex. Um, the other one is a fucking psychopath that's very tech-savvy, and he's very into uh, breaking into people's accounts and shit. So that could be him, but he's far away, and I haven't really... He hasn't really messed around with me for, for a long time. He, you know, he hasn't been... I don't know. I don't know. It could be him because he's a fucking psycho, right? Or it could be my ex-husband because he needs to, he wants to destroy me in court. So, of course, he, why not tap into her phone or in her account? That's a good way to get her, right? You know? So, um... But this is just too weird and too, 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 too many coincidences going on that it's fucking bothering me and I don't know what to do about it. So I don't know, now I gotta go ask one of my family members to sign into their computer to see if it's me and my personal devices that is, that is blocking me from doing important fucking financial things on my phone and my laptop that I've been blocked from doing. Like before I was doing a court, I was in court through Zoom and the Zoom was uh they was having technical difficulties with zoom me i was having the technical difficulties on my end they were just fine but so then and that was through my phone so is this my phone's tap but i, I could understand maybe my phone's tap but but what about my laptop not access not like giving me access to my bank bank uh, uh account either i mean I mean, uh, I, I'm really paranoid. I don't know what's going on. I know I'm not crazy in that way where I will be accusing uh, the government to spy on me or something like that. No, I'm not crazy like that. But something seriously is going wrong. And I think it's with a lot of people and not just me. And then they want us to look crazy. You know, like they're doing this shit on purpose. These big corporations, the fucking people that are controlling everything, the banks, obviously, the courts, obviously, this all makes sense, right? So they're all colluding with each other and and, and making making life difficult, like under in an underhanded way. And 
you know, whoever whoever gets fucked in the process, they don't care. You know, the people that are more vulnerable are going to be the most affected from this. Because now I got a, a, a late fee attached to my rent. And um, I look like a Debbie not trying to, you know, not paying my rent. Which I always fucking pay my rent right on time or before. And now I'm thinking, stupid me, I should have paid yesterday when my shit was working. But... But you know, this is this is this is this is this is just too much like for me or for a lot of people that probably are being fucked with like this. So what is going on here? I don't even know like if I'm awake or maybe I'm in a long dream or something like in a coma. Or you know what I'm saying? Like it feels that way. That I'm in some kind of coma and in a twilight zone reality and I'm not really awake. So, I don't know if every, anyone, I'm sorry, but I've been really unstable these past few months. But right now, I'm really fucked, fucked, fucked up in my head. Like, I'm going through this shit, and I don't know if it's just me or, or what's the situation with everyone else. But, um, I am not, I'm not doing well. Like, I, I can't see my therapist because they're not available they're just available on the phone like what good is that you do telehealth i don't want to see a two-dimensional person i want to see a real person like i don't want to live in the internet okay i'm not down for that shit so um, I, I i was planning to make this video without freaking breaking down but i I just need someone to confirm that I'm not the only one going through this shit. You know, like, doing nothing wrong, fucking nothing at all wrong, just carrying on with the regular day, and this shit is just like, oh, we're gonna fuck with you today. Oh, you gotta pay your bills? Oh, we're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna be able to access your account. Like, what's going on here? I am, I am, I, I really don't have any family support or anything, you know, to get me through any of this. If I try to go to my, uh, narcissistic families for support, I'm just gonna get more stressed. I'm gonna get more stressed. Piled onto me. And you guys have a good family. Um, please don't take that for granted. I would give anything for a comforting, loving family, you know, supporting me through this time because I am all alone doing it. I'm sorry. I have to eat. Again, I have to um, leave my apartment today. For, for people to go through there and because they're trying to sell the property, the guy's still trying to sell it. So. You know, I don't mind. It's just that I'm I'm there alone because I try to get away from my family and other and, and, and people around me. So you know, being disrupted constantly from this place is really pissed me off because I'm just I'm. What am I supposed to get comfortable with that? You know, just because you own the property doesn't mean you couldn't intrude on people like that. I don't think it's right. 
And they do that all the time. Like, they don't care. But he's pretty nice considering, you know, what he could have been. But they, they, they always, they all do that, man. These property owners. And, um, they're trying to capitalize on the uh, coronavirus thing. To make more money. And it's just like, come on, come on, dude. I know you're trying to push me out for the longest time because you even said it yourself that you want to make more money off of the property. I understand that, but, but, but where am I supposed to go? Just because of, you know, you know, if you own a home right now, thank your lucky stars for that. Appreciate all that you have because I would give anything to have just the basics and like, like just the family that's supportive and loving and that a stable home. Um, you know, but I know my type. My role since I was little was a hard because my role was really hard since I can remember. You know, my role in my family that I came from. Um and that my role in school with, with my peers, my role in you know, the work. When I got older and I started working, I know my role. And I'm very strong, you know, to put up with what I've put up with. But, mm -hmm. I don't think I have another option about bacon. I don't like bacon too much. They put bacon in everything. Everything. It's disgusting. And it's... it's and now the system is... I mean, the system has always been rigged. Um... Keep everyone in their place. You know? But... It's getting real bad out there, out here. Um, so now, my bank is fucking with me again. They did this before when I tried to buy the car. I tried to remove money out of my account and give me a fucking interrogation about it. Um, it's like I have the money. And the bank doesn't want me to take out the money. I wonder why. What is going on? I'm so tired of that bank. Like, I, I don't want nothing to do with banks at all, ever. But, since we run on a credit system here, and this is a capitalism, you know, capitalist country, we have to have bank accounts. You just, you don't get the option. Uh, if you want to get ahead in life, you're going to have to have a bank account. So, I know these things. But, but now it's just like they're doing it on purpose because they know that we need the bank account. We need to move our money, you know. I'm I'm still hanging in there and I don't know how I'm doing it. You know, because I'm not used to going to a hospital or anything for nervous breakdown because I never really did that I did one time 
and um, people want to use that against me. Yeah, okay. You know, I wanted, I needed the help, and I try to get the help. I don't, I don't know. No matter what I do, it's the wrong thing to do. So. You know, I've always been the scapegoat for everything. And people say, oh, well, you know what? You're a real special person. That's why you're being targeted all the time. I'm like, well, you know what? What is that? What good is that? Like, I just want to live and let other people live. That's it. Just do what you want to do, but don't affect other people that are weaker or vulnerable. Don't be doing that shit. You know, we don't have rights to live. It's just in, in, in eight. It's in, within us, you know, to live. So, I understand a lot of people out there are trying to survive so they're in survivor mode all the time and by nature we see other you know by nature let's say the primitive mind that we uh first came you know into existence with um it's all about survival right but we are a social species so we had our little group, so we're kind of doing the same thing now, where everyone's joining their little group and staying, kind of keeping themselves safe from the other, the others out there, and they were, they're afraid, so they, they, they use that, you know, they use the others as their enemy, so, so everyone who's outside the group is an enemy, and that's basically what we're doing. It's a very primitive mindset. But I thought we evolved from <laughs> many years that we've been in existence. But I guess not. Now we're re reverting back to more of a primitive brain. And I'm not on board with that. I just... I really dedicate myself to learning and you know experiencing new things and progressing I, I'm not interested in living in fear anymore like I, I decided that I'm not gonna be a victim or or you know attack people I don't I don't think I should be <laughs> that's not my place to be attacking other people that I don't agree with or are different than me that's that's, that's, these actions are, they're born out of fear, so, and I've been living in fear my whole life, you know, because of my, uh, abuse and the, the, uh, horrific things I, I witnessed throughout my life that are just unreal, <laughs> and so I decided, you know what, I want to better myself, I want to progress as long as I'm not hurting anybody and not hurting myself, and trying to love myself and all that and that's just going down the drain like my whole philosophy on life is being used against me and taken as a weakness <laughs> by all those other people that want to live in fear and want to live in their little bubble world away from the others and since I'm considered another well, you know, then they have to point at me and say you know she's no good and she's the enemy and look out for her and you know don't let her get away with progressing in life I, I'm just I feel resentful. I'm very resentful about that. 
because I'm not for that. I'm not about that. I, like I said, I lived in fear so long, you know, <sighs> under the guise of love. Like, I thought it was love, and then, because I didn't know any better, because my family had no love for me, never loved me. It took a long time to, to come to terms with that, but that's because it's so horrible and heartless that that could be the case. <laughs> you know, you don't believe it. It's something a lot of people don't want to admit because it hurts so much. <laughs> it hurts me a lot every day that I know that I'm alone in this world. But still, I still would not go back and resist. Uh, um, sorry. I can't think of the word. Regress. I refuse to regress and, and go backwards and have, you know, use only my primitive mind and my survival uh, techniques, um, strategies. I, I, I refuse to go backwards and live in that state of fear. So. <clears throat> You know, being a victim and being a tyrant is the same thing underneath, is that they're driven by fear, so. I, I refuse, and I've made so much progress that I'm not going to let them bring me down. So they can say, see, we knew she was the problem. You know, look what happened. She killed herself. Or look what happened. She committed a bad crime. Or she got herself locked up. You know, that's what they're waiting for. And I'm not doing it. I am not playing the game. This is not a this is not a movie unless, you know, we're in a Truman Show thing. Because sometimes I think we're in the Truman Show. No lie. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> Things happen that I, it just doesn't make logical sense. And... Is too much of a coincidence to have happened randomly with how big the world is. It's just, it's strange. I, either I'm fucking in, on the brink of a psychotic break or there's something more to this. Because I've been trying to, I, I've been testing my reality to make sure it's not me that's going nutty. And so far, it looks like that I, it's not just me. So I feel safe in that. You know, I feel relieved a little bit. And not, I don't feel as alone, but I still feel alone. But like if I try to go and tell somebody this, they just... Somebody that's not awake to the way reality really is and is still living by fear and control. They, they'll look at me like, okay, listen, you got to go to the hospital, get yourself checked out, get an evaluation, and come back when you're better. <laughs> um, yeah, that's nice, right? Oh, man, this is crazy. Like, what's going on? I mean, the banks, my bank has been suspect for the longest time. Like, during this crisis here, I've noticed it. And I'm like, okay. But then the, 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 the judge was very dismissive towards me and didn't want to hear me, even he muted me on the Zoom call. And that's suspect all the way there, too. <clears throat> um, the car dealership first overcharged me, but I know I, I kind of expected the extra charge and fees, you know, any place I would have went. So, you know, that I, that I accept responsibility for that overpaying on my own, but... Um, The thing with the registration, that shit is so shady that it angers me because there's no way of getting through to the DMV and and 
I had to, to get my license in New Jersey, changed to New Jersey. It took me to sleep, not sleep overnight, but I was waiting overnight on the line in the dark in the middle of a street, you know, a roadway. We had to sit, sit like dogs on the roadway to wait on a line to get in the DMV. And it was just, just a nightmare. A nightmare. Just to do one thing. So imagine me trying to go through that again. To figure out where's my registration, my license plates. For them just to say, we have till December. I forgot what date in December. We have until December to give you this uh, permanent license. I mean permanent plates. Because right now I'm driving on a fucking temporary plates. And it's really... Uh, you know, if I, I felt like I wanted to sell the car because, you know, I want to get out of here and I'm just feeling more trapped and more closed in. So, I can't even sell my car properly. I'm not a shady person. Like, I'm not going to try and sell my car without it getting, first of all, getting fixed because there's a, something wrong with it. Um... You know, not having the proper license plates and registration and title, like, how am I supposed to sell it in good faith? I'm not the type for that. So, I don't like this. My life is being on hold and my life is just, life doesn't stop. Life does not stop. So, but my, but everyone's personal life is being stopped and it's fucking infuriating for a lot of people that were in hard times before this happened like the people that are were good and set up and had expendable money to you know to, to just in savings and all that they are okay right now but I'm just, I'm in a helpless situation. Like, I could leave my apartment and I have to pay rent, but then I have to go live with someone. I, I don't want to live with nobody. Nobody. I don't want to hear your shit. Like, I don't want you to be telling me, telling me what to do. I'm a grown adult. You know? A lot of people... Well, especially the people I'm around, they want to take it as a as a permission to control me because I need something from them that they, they have permission to control me then. No, I don't think so. You should be doing it out of the kindness of your heart, not fucking doing it like that. But my family is a piece of shit family and they're narcissistic and it's just, they want me to go into the hospital, I swear. They're trying to push me to the point where I do something, Um, you know, I don't... Because I have my own mental health issues that I'm working on and I struggle with. So, just keep pushing my buttons and buttons until I get locked up or some shit. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Thank God I've come to awareness about all this. Because I say I wasn't aware. I would have been killed by now, beat up, put, put in jail just because, you know... Of, of uh, being attacked constantly and tested and just pushed to the point where where uh, you just you just snap. That's what happens. A lot of people commit crimes, but you know what? A lot of those people were pushed into that position because they are they lacked awareness. And I thank God or whatever up there. That's the universe. I think I'm so thankful that I have the ability to. A look into myself and, and and have insight. I am so grateful for that because if I didn't have insight all with all that I've been put through, I would have just done something horrible or something bad would have happened in, in response. So, yeah, I'm grateful for that. But... <sighs> You know, knowing this and, and having this issue myself personally in my own life for since before I 
can remember since I was born. I was born into chaos. So, you know. But then I started getting on a path towards a recovery and realizing I could change the story. You know? The story looked like it was set up and it had me as a bad in a bad position of loss of everything and to be looked down upon and to fucking be be uh used and pictured as some kind of villain which that's not even the truth it was just something that was that was the role that i had um been programmed for there you go. So I was programmed for that role, and and I and I realized after the therapy I've been through and all that, um, that I could change that. I can change my role. I don't have to be that role person. Like, <clears throat> wow, this is going for a long time, and. You know, just when I'm starting to do that, something comes around and ruins it again. And I'm used to my husband coming around and ruining shit. And my mother coming around and ruining shit. But now, we have... We got the President of the United States going around ruining everybody's shit. So, on a large scale. And it's just... That combined with my own personal problems is a lot to handle. But but I'm making it 